Hey guys, so this tutorial video is going to introduce to you a way in which you can install two ability skill presets on your controller for Dragon's Dogma 2. So in Dragon's Dogma 1, you could use R1, you could hold R1 and use the ability, uh, three ability skills on your face buttons, or L1 and use three others, so you had a total of six. In Dragon's Dogma 2, they got rid of that, and now you only have one. Uh, dedicated to L1 or R1, whatever, if you wanted to map it to another button. But the point is you only have one set of ability skills, which are four, the four face buttons. But now you can add eight or more. Uh, if you want to cycle between two and have it feel the same way you, you had it back in Dragon's Dogma 1, you can do that now. So you're going to, on PC obviously, so you're going to go to Nexus and download this mod called skill preset switcher I already have it downloaded here and then you're also going to need re framework to install this so once you do that you can unzip re framework you're going to see here this is the file that's inside the only file you need go to your dragon dogma 2 folder and inside here you're going to put that file inside here as you can see I already have it installed so right where the exe is you're just going to put it in the same folder so that's step number one next you're going to unzip this so as you can see there's the re framework folder and inside of it there's the auto run and inside of it you have hotkeys and the switch lua so you're going to take all of this you're going to copy it and you're going to paste it here right here okay i already have it installed so you go inside You'll see inside the auto run, these are the other mods, but the main one you're looking for is switch skills. And inside hotkeys, you have that. So once you have these two installed, then the next step is you're going to go into Steam, go into your game, Dragon's Dogma 2, Properties, Controller, and you're going to enable Steam Input. Once you do that, you're going to hit the Controller Configurator. Edit the layout, go into your buttons. So for me, I had I switched the the inputs for L1 and R1. So I flipped them so that L1 was the vocation action and R1 was the abilities. Um, you can leave it default as you want, but if you do, then what you're going to end up doing is changing this, the right bumper. Because I switched them, I ended up changing the left bumper. So you're going to change L1, and for the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select the control key because the control key on your keyboard is what activates the bumpers for a keyboard. So it's going to think that it's a keyboard. But then next, you're going to create a subcommand, subcommand. And inside of that, you're going to click this, go to gamepad and select the left bumper. So now it has two functions. One of them is functioning as a left bumper, except not exactly. It's primarily taking the control key. So it's functioning as if it's doing the same thing that R1 is doing on the controller but on the keyboard. So now these two buttons are basically functioning the same way. So this is only half the solution. So once you do this, you log into the game. I have fluffy mod manager and I have all these other mods. So I'm going to launch the game through here and then I'll see you in a couple seconds. All right. So you click on insert to trigger to open up the RE framework. Once you have that, you click on script generated UI and you're going to scroll down until you see skill presets. Right now I'm thief, so it's showing me for thief. If you were another class, it would show you the name for that other class. You click it and you're going to see two presets by default. You can add more, but to do that, uh, if you add more, it's going to make it more difficult to hotkey them to your controller because you're going to run out of space. So, but with R1 and L1, it's very doable. And I'll show you why. I'm gonna show you the way I mapped my controller. So you can see I changed sheath, draw, and cancel to R3. So from L2 to R3, I changed the reset camera. Uh, I set it to L1. And switch skills, I set it to R1 for the first set of skills. And then you go down to vocation action and I set that to L2. So that's it. So as you can see here, L1 is dedicated to the reset camera and reset camera is garbage. That's a pointless button. 
So I set it to L1 because when I press L1, I don't want it to actually do anything useful. So now that I have it set up that way, I can go back in and show you that for the presets, preset one and preset two. Preset one, I, I have this enable toggle on release and I set the hotkey to R1. You click it, you click R1 on your controller and it sets it. You go down and for the skill hotkey control, I set it to control. You can also set it to the left bumper. And that's pretty much it. So then once you go to, if I click R1, you can see I have four, these four set of skills. And then when I click L1, I have four other set of skills. It's not showing on the UI that L1 is pressed. It still says that R1 is pressed because L1 is now an empty button. It was for the reset camera. I disabled reset camera with another mod, so that's why it's not showing. But now L1 and R1 both press. You can see I'm swapping between them. I'm pressing and releasing L1. This is the R1, my R1 four set of skills and L1 four other set of skills. And the way you'd set this up is go to your vocation guy. Here at the end, we also see that I can manage both roles myself. As I set up the skills that I want, my four skills, I'll just go in here and I'll save that preset to R1. And then I can go and set another four set of skills and then click save to uh, skill preset for the second one. And then boom, done. Now I have eight skills. I can cycle back and forth between. The reset camera button is now gone because it's useless. It's not necessary. I can hit L2 to use my swift step for my vocation abilities, which actually makes sense if you're using the fighter you know you hit l2 to pull up your shield or if you're aiming with the archer l2 to aim and that makes a lot more sense honestly than hitting r1 which was the default vanilla uh, command so these controls i think just make much more sense and then you know what you hit r3 to sheath and unsheath and that's pretty much it now you can set up four and another four set of skills that you can use and now it feels like dragon's dogma one again and even better so i hope this tutorial helped you guys. I hope it made sense. I apologize if uh, it wasn't very clear. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments below. Thank you.